Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and we have some new content on this Monday morning. Uh, somehow I got up bright and early today. I got no idea how, but I got up early. Watched that Floyd fight on uh, Saturday night. Uh, I think I went to bed at like 3 after that fight. Won me some money on Floyd. Um, I still can't believe that people can't figure out that the first six rounds, Floyd literally had no interest in winning. If he took a round, he was happy. If he didn't, he didn't care. I think about round two, two-thirds of the way through round two, he figured out that Connor wasn't making it all 12 rounds, and that he'd finish him in the 10th, 11th, maybe the 12th. Uh, you could just tell. In the first two rounds, he threw a whopping, like, total of, like, 14 punches, so... He clearly had no interest in fighting the first two rounds. You can't even argue that. And then he clearly was just doing his normal thing, except he decided to throw more punches than dodge, which worked out fine. But then I had to get up super early on Saturday, and I had to get up at like 5 on Saturday, so I got to walk in two hours of sleep. And then somehow I got up early today to find new content and mutts. Okay, so that's enough of my story of my life. Okay, let's get into this. So we've got we've got qualify for the championship. I don't know why stuff is still selling. I thought everything sold. Um, we got qualify for the championship, so we can get uh, gauntlet trophies in premium. Uh, and so here we'll check out first. We got new packs. Let's go over these first. I might open up one of these later. I'm not sure. I'm still waiting for the money to get deposited from the Floyd fight. Uh, and so that's kind of where I'll decide whether or not I want to buy one of these packs. And so we'll go, let's go here. Okay, so we've got the NFE, NFC East Silver Pack, which gives you 75 plus overall gold, two silver or better players that are from NFC East teams. NFC East Gold Pack gives you two 75 plus overall players and three silver or better players that are from NFC East teams. So you're just going to get a bunch of players from the NFC East. That's why I'm kind of on the fence about whether I'm buying this. The GOAT Gold Pack is still the best pack in the game. And it's not even close. You're guaranteed like 15,000 coins per pack. And no other pack can really guarantee you. Not even the Elite Pack. Not even the Elite Pack can guarantee you that. Because you can get like a 6k... I think there's 5k Elite. So you can get a 5k Elite and then you're just screwed. And it's double the price. So if you think about this... You would need to get about 30k value out of the Elite Pack to beat the Goat Gold. And you would need to get almost 50,000 out of the Legends Fantasy Pack to beat the GOAT Gold. So it just makes no sense to open up any pack except the GOAT Gold as long as people are going to buy them on the auction for like 12k. It makes no sense. But uh, the Elite, the uh, bundle here gives you an Elite or better uh, NFC East player. Now I don't know when it says Elite or better because it's limited to the NFC East. Do you then get a... Is there any Legends in the NFC East? I don't even think there's any Legends out yet from the NFC East, so it doesn't even matter, but... So I think it's just a guaranteed Elite, because I don't think there's any Legends out from the NFC East. So there are the packs. Go check and see. I don't remember if there is a... Gosh, a ton of stuff sold. I don't know if there's a set, any new sets for this. It does not appear like it. Okay, so there's no new gauntlet stuff. Yeah, it looks like there's nothing. Oh, no, weekly player exchange. NFC East gold player. Complete this set to earn a random NFC East gold player. All right, what do we need? Any gold player. All right, we'll do this, whatever. Do I even have enough gold players? Can I add non-auctionable tradable golds? Because that would be clutch. Because I'm never going to use these guys. I can't. Okay. We'll open up one of these. Oh, it's a fantasy pack. I wonder if it's limited to gold. It is. Oh, I can sell this gold too. Okay, give me... Yeah, give me the, uh, give me the Giants. They have some nice value because... Uh, I don't know why. Because of the OBJ and Landon Collins collections, I guess... Uh, not exactly sure. So there are the new collections there. Um, there's nothing else new here. I don't think. No, nothing new there. I'll show you why I picked that. Let me make sure I, I know what I'm talking about before you guys pick. Before you guys pick a Giants gold. Yep, still holding value nicely, about 2,900. 
So it's 2,900 free coins because I was never getting rid of those non-auctionable tradable golds. So we'll throw him up for 2,900 and then we'll go over the new solo challenges that we have. Uh, some aren't available yet for me to show you, so keep that in mind. I can't show you all of them. I thought, like, everything is sold. All right, solo challenges. We've got Gauntlet, the Gauntlet Unleashed. Play through a seven-game available Monday through Thursday to unlock the championship event on the weekend. Resets every Monday at 10.30 a.m. So, first of all, we have the weekly theme. These, this week's theme is NFC East. Put at least three players from each NFC East team into your lineup to unlock the premium version of the qualifier. So that would be this. So you need to activate Redskins, Giants, Cowboys, and Eagles. Um, uh, well, what am I trying to say? You need to activate their uh, Tier 1 chemistries in your lineup to unlock these 400 coins, 500 Nothing special here. Gold player reward. That doesn't matter. Gauntlet trophy. That's the big thing. Gaunt you can get a gauntlet trophy at the end of the premium qualifier down there. The premium championship qualifier. You can get another gauntlet trophy there on, on Friday through Sunday. And the open championship. Uh, you can get another gauntlet trophy within that. And you can get another gauntlet trophy, I believe, at the end. No, this one does not have a gauntlet trophy. Okay, so the open qualifier does not have a gauntlet trophy. And I believe to activate this one, you will just need the Tier 1 Chemistries again. And so this one right here just gives you an NFC East warm-up pack reward. The Open Qualifier, like I said, we already went over that. And so to activate Tier 1 Chemistry, see that Giants Gold already sold? So they're going to go up in value a little bit. Not too much, I would expect, but... To activate the chemistries, you need three players. So I already have the Eagles activated. Uh, I also have the Ravens and the Patriots activated on my team. But it's not too hard to activate them. Uh, I have one Redskins player on offense. I believe that's it. Let's go to the defense. I got one Giants player. I can move Landon Collins to safety and then I'd have one. Uh, but I don't have a whole lot of NFC East players to crack in the lineup, so I might go through and decide on whether or not I want NFC East play. if I want to even do this. There's no gauntlet players really left that I care about. Um, I've gotten the good ones, I believe, uh, or the ones that fit best in a lineup. I don't need Rivers. I have Tyrod. I don't need Adrian Peterson. I have Barry, and I don't need Terrell Suggs. Because Charles Suggs just isn't very good in this game. So I don't really need him. Um, so there's not really a huge use for any of these guys for me. Because they're non-auctionable tradable. So you're just stuck with them. And so I don't really have much of an interest in them. Um, I'll show you real quick. They are non-auctionable tradable. See, non-auctionable, non-tradable... You're just stuck with them, so I feel like I should just wait and save Gauntlet Trophies for later on cards. Because these cards, just, there's nothing left for me. So I'll probably just end up, I don't know how much time I'll have this week to play. So, oops, don't want to go the GOAT solo. Um, I don't know how much time I'll have, so I'll definitely complete th these and then the Open Championship so I can get uh, one Gauntlet Trophy. But I don't know if I'll activate the Chemistries. It's going to turn expensive here. Um, you'll probably want to rip these packs if you're going to do it, opposed to buying off the auction. Uh, not the 10000 If you really want to do this and you don't want to spend any money, then you're going to have to buy it off the auction. But this, the bundle here, is going to be your best bet if you don't want to waste coins and whatnot. Because then if you can finish these up early enough and you can beat them on Friday, you can sell them. And people will pay coins for the cards to be able to do it on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, but guys, that's going to do it. That's the new content for the day, I believe, is this NFC East uh, gauntlet. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.